Drama Hot Hot. Hello, RC fans, and welcome to Gotta Know Joe Hobbies here in Spring, Texas. I've got something a little different today. Normally, we're up here in the air with the eagles, but today we're gonna come down here to the surface. There was no way possible for me to take and post pictures for all of this stuff that's going to be in this lot. I'm going to be blunt and upfront. Um, this is a huge lot. It's going to be expensive to ship. I don't want to hear any whining about that um, because we always will do our best to find the cheapest way to ship it to you. If you pay and we find a better, lower cost way to get it to you, you will be refunded. We are not in the shipping business and we do not make any money off shipping. We never have, never will. We make our few bucks on the items that we sell. Now that all of that's out of the way, let's get into what we have. Also, another disclaimer, RC guy as far as car, <clears throat> that's not really my bag. I'm more of an airplane guy now. Um, I did race for HBI years ago. Um, I, I used to race the big fifth scale gassers. Those cars I do know. When you get into the small cars like the eighth and the tenth scale, I don't really know that much about them. I do know the electronics, know a little bit about the nitro engines, but as far as gear makes, models, all that stuff, not me. I know I like the Truggy. The Truggy's one cool looking vehicle. And that's what we've got here. This is a RC8E. Um, RC8E. Now I know they've got, um, you know, 2.1, 3.3s, 3.2s, all that stuff. Um, I'm not sure exactly which one this is, but this one was not an RTR, it was a kit. It's kit number 80. 901 RC8E. Um, this guy here raced. Um, pretty good at it too, uh, from what I hear. And uh, I bought some of his uh, some of his cars. Um, he's getting out of racing. He just can't. He said he can't. Uh, he can't do the uh, car flipping no more and running around because of his back. You know, most people that we know are older and. Uh, they're a little bit limited <laughs> to bending over and some of us are just big boys and bending over is kind of tough um, I really don't know where to start and I'm sorry if I ramble a little bit I've been up for I think about 18 hours today um, now when I bought this stuff the cat told me that there is enough or, or there's a the conversion stuff to go from uh, truggy to, to the short course truck maybe I think is what he said and there's also another car that we're going to be putting on the lot uh, up on the block for sale and that's going to be uh, this RC8B over here which um, is a nitro but it does come with an electric conversion and a motor so I will say this if by chance I get parts for that car in this lot, and I get parts for that car and, uh, and vice versa. Uh, I will hook the two buyers up so they can get all the wrong stuff I sent them, and y'all can swap, you know, uh, whatever, uh, if it's worth it. I, I think I may have it down pretty dead gum close, though. So, this is the RC8 here. Really good looking car. Get it over here so you can take a look. Castle Creations. It's got the 60,000 uh, RPM big monster. Um, it's got a Habico Digital CS170. And if I'm not mistaken, that was a pretty pricey servo there. It does have a Spectrum receiver on board. Um, I think it's the 300 series. You know, nothing really special, but it's, you know, Spectrum receiver. Um, it's got brand new uh, tires, brand new rubber. Uh, there's more rubber that comes with it. And I'll show you that here in a minute. 
Uh, the car's been ran, it's been raced, but it's not bent, it's not broke, it's not beat up. It's been taken care of. It's got um, what I believe is the uh, aluminum hub upgrades here. Um, he did a lot of bearing changes, you know, up, uh, upgrading or changes uh, on the car. You know, he always wanted, this is the way I've got, you know, I got the car. I didn't clean it up. I didn't put a towel to it. I didn't put a Q-tip to it. I didn't blow it off with air. This is exactly the way that came to me. Um, you can usually judge a car by being brand new. Uh, if it doesn't have any scratches on the bottom of it. But like I said, this thing here, you know, has been, it's been raced. He raced on... Uh, a lot of that hard uh, red pack clay and uh, on some sandy loom stuff as well. I'm going to put this card down here out of the way for just a minute. And you can tell by when I dropped it, it didn't bottom out, so it's got good shocks on it. Uh, here is a uh, beater body, you know, for when you're practicing so you don't have to tear up this better looking body. It's not the, you know, it's not a best looking body in the world but it's a good looking body doesn't have any cracks or anything the rc8e kit manual bam that too and let's see where can i start we've got the um, front arms rear arms more front arms those are rc8t rc8t there's uh, rc8t rear another set of rears um, these look new as well. There's one, two, three, four sets of rears, two fronts. Um, RC8B, I believe that goes with the other one. Disregard that. Let's see here. And uh, RC8T front. So one, two, three fronts, four rears. I'll uh, double check, but I believe I'm not sure where that goes. That goes with this uh, this car or the other one. I'll take a look though. This must be the truck bumper stuff. Uh, there's another fan. These are uh, some of the uh, used diffs, cups, a couple of carbon pieces. Servo saver, shock towers, yada 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 yada. Let me see what we got in here, folks. Okay, these are uh, looks like a center dip, if I'm not mistaken. And he did tell me he said that you know this isn't all junk. You know, a lot of times these guys will have uh, their bad parts and they bag their bad parts up and keep them for some damn reason. But uh, this is. Supposed to be all good working stuff. There are new and used parts all in this lot. So I'm not going to pull all of these out, man, but you know, there's some planetaries. Quite a few diffs in here. Just a plethora of stuff. And man, you guys know what just this cost, you know. And uh, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them just in this box alone. Okay. Um. Oh, this is a often a thing. I don't know how that got in there, man. That's a servo saver for a Hyper 10 SC. Um, battery, battery boxes, and uh, I forget what that little cap is called. And I, that's a brand new set of this stuff here. So there you go. So that's all of that stuff. Now. Two hours later. Here is uh, more manuals and lit. Bam. Tires. Brand new set. This is for that, uh, I think this is, yeah, this is for the hard pack clay. This is the real, real super soft, soft super sticky. Um, these things here, man, I, I used to run these on a, a fist scale, something similar to it, man. These things hook up on that. Hard pack stuff. Um, let me see. 
Well, I'm not going to attempt to try to read all that, man, because I can't see it for one. But there's one, two, three sets of uh, uh, rims and, and tires and then a uh, brand new set that uh, is on the car. Dog bones, cups, and front spindles. Bam, bam, let's dig some of this stuff here out. A uh, ton of pins. Those things are handy. I was always bending those oh. things. More front suspension parts, more blue anodized parts. Um, that's the uh, camber stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Ta -da. More. Uh, you know, just miscellaneous parts, man. You know, stuff that you take to the track. Stuff that you got to have when you need it. Oh, yeah. Some of this stuff is worth its weight in gold, man, when you're tracking you need one. And you need it now. Oh, yeah. So, what do we got here? Uh, I think these are just braces, not shock towers, but carbon fiber. There's a whole aluminum, carbon, all different sizes. There is a... Uh, New set of, or a set of shocks, shock towers, braces, um, more suspension, tuning stuff. I forget what they call them, big gun things. Some type of a standoff. I'm not sure exactly what for. Battery, maybe. I don't know. Okay, and. Dip o rings, dip gaskets, all brand new. Got some entity stuff here, and uh, I think these are a new set of wheel bearings. Another diff or two in there are set. A lot of stuff, man. And last but not least, more shocks, more shocks, more shocks, more front end, A arms, rear A arms, springs, more suspension, more pins, and motor mounts. Motor mounts, motor mounts, motor mounts. And gears and all that stuff there let me get a you know let me apologize i just now looked at the screen on my camera and noticed that some of this stuff here is looking kind of dark and black so let me do this here there you go those all look brand new A lot of those dead gun things. I didn't know if that, that may be a concern on some of these cars here. Let me show you again with some light. That's those um, camber space. Gun. I wish I could remember the name of those things. And I think I pulled all that out. Yeah. Double check. Make sure that. Got a good eyeball on all that. I'd hate to get this video done and get to the editing portion and then see, oh, well, you can't see anything. I have to come back and do it again. Okay, and then uh, the rubber. And just in case, and that was dips in that little bag there as well. And of course, you can see all that stuff. All right, well, if you've got any questions, give me a holler. I'm getting ready to put all this stuff up uh, in a big pile, and I'm, you know, I'm going to send the boxes and everything. I will. Um, get a size, get a weight, 
and start getting prices. One thing I will uh, let you know, if I set this thing up for, let's say, FedEx and you're in Wisconsin, okay, that might be the best price for Wisconsin. I can't set it up for everywhere. And, you know, let's say you might be uh, in New York or Montana and FedEx isn't the best, you know, but U UPS may be. That's what I'm saying. If you see a price, I may be able to get it cheaper. Regardless, it's going to cost money to ship this stuff. It's big and it's heavy, but we will make sure to get you the absolute lowest price on shipping, okay? Um, everything that we sell here, we stand behind. We've been doing this a long time, and we want to make sure our customers are happy with what they uh, what they get. By the way, do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe. It would really do us a big, big favor. And how it goes out, you know, we, we really try to uh, do that to cover you and to cover us. And we thank you for looking and watching. And if you got any questions, give us a holler. Gotta know Joe Hobbies here in Spring, Texas. And if you want to get in the air, guess what? We'll oblige you.